Will your lawsuit change anything? Great question. So let's talk about there's five ways that a lawsuit can change everything for the doctor or hospital that you sue. Number one, when a case settles or gets decided in court, if it goes against the doctor, the insurance company has to notify the National Practitioners Data Bank. The National Practitioners Data Bank is an organization in Washington, D.C that keeps all of the information about settlements and judgments against doctors. And what they do with that information is that when a doctor moves to a different city or state, the hospital will contact the National Practitioners Data Bank to find out, has the doctor had any settlements or judgments against them? So that's one way. Number two is the New York State Department of Health keeps a list of all settlements and judgments against a doctor in the last five years. So if you want to see, has your doctor settled a case or had a judgment, you can go to the New York State Department of Health. It's called the Physician Profile. Enter the first and last name of the doctor and you will find out just a five year period whether they've had any problems, suits or not. Now, number three, in some cases, your lawsuit can change the hospital's policies and procedures. Quick story, we had a case where a mother died in childbirth of a blood clot. And so part of the settlement in that case was not just monetary compensation, but the hospital agreed to change their procedures to evaluate mothers for blood clots following childbirth. And that's actually, there's a 20 year policy where they actually implement lectures and teaching for their nurses and doctors about how to spot a blood clot in a mother after childbirth. So that's big. And that was a condition of the settlement. So that's a really cool way that a lawsuit can force change in a really positive way. Let's talk about number four, no confidentiality. You should never agree to a confidential settlement ever. Why is that? Because if you agree to a confidential settlement, then your lips are sealed. No one can ever find out anything about your settlement. You have not done anything to improve the quality of medical care for others in the future. Confidential settlements are horrible. One of our firm's core values is we never agree to confidential settlements ever. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute. Will that affect my ability to settle my case if my attorney does not agree to a confidential settlement? The answer is never. The insurance company of the hospital or doctor, they want to settle the case more than you do. In 25 years of practicing medical malpractice, we have never had a case where we are unable to settle the case due to confidentiality, we just never agree to it. We draw a line in the sand and we say never. Maybe half the time the defense attorneys will ask for confidentiality if they don't know us. And we say absolutely never. Draw that line in the sand and just don't let it happen. When we settle a case, when it gets resolved, my lips are not sealed. So what we can do is we actually put sort of an educational bit on a case result on our website to show you what happened, the amount of the settlement, where it happened, and the valuable teaching point of that case. Because what we're trying to do is help other people who have the same problems, same issues, learn from our cases so that we can not just compensate people, but use our cases as an educational tool for other people you know. in the future. So those are five really good ways that your lawsuit can change things and have a great impact on society. We know this works. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate that. I'll write a comment. I'll respond to it. Share the video if you like it, and we'll see you next time.